now to an all new ABC 15 investigation. The city of Glendale arrested, jailed and filed four criminal charges against an 81 year old man. His family says he has dementia and physical disabilities. His alleged crime trespassing at a neighborhood shopping complex where he's been going every day for years. It was ridiculous. It really was shame on them. Today, five months after the man's initial arrest, a judge agreed to dismiss all the charges. ABC 15's Melissa Blasius shows us how crime fighting is clashing with community expectations. Another reason some say we need to be rethinking policing. Before we tell you more about Sam's arrest, a disclaimer. Some of the details here are personal, even embarrassing, but the family wanted you to hear Sam's story so you understand more about dementia. It's a disease that 5 million Americans have. And the family says if anyone should be embarrassed by this, it's the police. Uh, uh, don't no. fight, Sam. No. Sam, you're under arrest. These Glendale officers are done with warnings. They are enforcing now. I don't care if you're old. You were told not to come back no, here. 81 no, year old no. Sam Thomas is going to jail for trespassing as soon as officers can get his stroke damaged body into the police cruiser. No. Yes. How did it happen? The 911 caller on December 6th was not reporting a crime. She wanted help for a confused man. We were just a little bit concerned about his safety. My beautiful dad. Sam's daughter, Omedia Thomas, is his primary caretaker. She shared these medical records where Sam's nurse practitioner documented his dementia, including here, where he's being referred to a neurologist. Omedia says this Duncan at 67th Avenue and the Loop 101 has been part of her dad's routine for years before his decline. Because my friends are all there. He frequently joins up with other Assyrian men, drinking coffee and talking for hours. The rest are still welcome, just not Sam. He won't know not to go there and then he'll take a walk and he'll end up there or his friends will pick him up and take him there. The Duncan, Samurai Sam's next door, and the property manager, Tate Development, all complained, according to police reports. He's starting to creep out. His daughters work here, my partner, his two girls. They said Sam hangs around too long, stares in the windows. Glendale police say he's disruptive in other ways. Smear poop all over their walls. Oh. Yeah, he's... Oh, I'm the, I'm the, he's going to have to learn somehow, I guess. Sam's relatives have tried to explain his condition to the businesses, giving out their phone number, offering to pick up Sam right away if there's a problem, even clean the bathroom if there's another mess due to Sam's incontinence. Glendale police records show they responded at least eight times and even took Sam home once in a police car prior to his December 6th arrest. So they're trying to find an answer and they just don't have one, but they know they have a problem to solve and, and we still have laws that we have to, to maintain. In these cases, we have victims. Do you understand that the police have to enforce the law? Uh, to enforce the law, I agree 100%, but to enforce this, it was not something for them to take to that level. Considering they know him, that's what's yeah. funny, is they know him. They've called me multiple times. Come pick him up. A Glendale police spokesman told ABC 15 that their officers acted within policy, and the family never told them or other social services professionals that Sam had dementia, despite their own body-worn camera video showing a Glendale officer visiting Sam's family to explain his arrest. He has dementia, so he does not remember he'll walk there without us even knowing. Sympathizing with them because his mom also had dementia. So he'll be there all day, just so then you didn't think that he was missing or anything like that. Inside the Glendale jail, a different attitude towards Sam. The officers realize Sam needs a new diaper, but instead of tending to his needs, they lock him in his cell and laugh at his expense. Did he soil himself? Uh, it smells like poo poo. <laughs> I was going to say the opposite one, but I, I didn't smell that in yet. Uh, yeah, I'm getting both. I'm getting remnants of both. I know it wasn't me because I pooped before briefing. <laughs> it's, it's a normal thing. <laughs> uh, I did mine after my 
I, I don't know why they were mocking him, and I don't know why they weren't treating him with the respect that he is due. Sam's been criminally cited for trespassing three more times by Glendale Community Action Officer Chuck Buffington. I don't know what I have to do to make you understand that you can't do this. You're not listening to me. You're, you're like totally I, I, blowing me up. The most recent ticket was issued last Thursday, weeks after ABC 15 first talked to Glendale police officials about Sam's dementia, and even after a judge had begun Rule 11 procedures to determine if Sam was mentally competent to face criminal charges. I think they should be investigated. I, I think they should be counseled, and I think there should be greater emphasis in training um, so that these officers know what to do next time they have a clearly uh, elderly person who suffers from dementia. So his order granting the state's oral motion dismissing this matter without prejudice affected this data. Wednesday, a Glendale City judge dismissed all four trespassing cases after two psychologists determined Sam's cognitive impairment was so significant that he was not competent to stand trial. As for Glendale police, they say they've involved adult protective services and a social worker in this case, but they make no guarantees of what will happen if Sam shows up here again. He still could be cited or charges submitted uh, if he continually returns to them. Duncan also told us their franchises are committed to creating a welcoming and inclusive environment, and they hope Sam gets the support and services he may need. Despite ongoing conversations, Sam still banned. Omedia, who tried for months to broker a compromise so her dad could be welcome at his favorite coffee place, has a new solution now. I think I'll do Starbucks. I like them better anyway. I'm investigator Melissa Blasius, ABC 15, Arizona. In the coming days, the ABC 15 investigators explore alternatives to arresting people with dementia who are accused of a crime. And we'll show you which Valley cities are offering extra support and services by becoming dementia friendly. And if you or someone you love has dementia and you need help, a good place to start is the Alzheimer's Association Desert Southwest Chapter Hotline at 1-800-272-3900. We'll also have resources on ABC15.com.